Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Pradita Muntariwawi I'm from Uncari Fidetullah, Jakarta I'm going to retell a story untitled The Little Red Riding Hood Oke, okay, happy watching Little Red Riding Hood live in a hut near a forest with her mother. She always wore a beautiful red hood while going out. One day, she went to see her grandmother. On her way, she met a wolf. It is wolf! It's so scary! Hello, little red hood. Where are you going? I'm going to see my granny. She lives behind that hill. A wolf got the wicked idea. Ha 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 ha! The wolf ran to granny's house. When the wolf arrived at granny's house, the wolf ate her up and got into granny's bed. After some time, the little red riding hood reached the house and she saw the wolf lying in her granny's bed. Oh, granny! What big eyes you have! That I can see you better. Granny, what big eyes you have! That I can hear you better. Granny, what a big nose you have! That I can smell you better. Oh, Granny! What big teeth you have! So that I can eat you better! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh, oh my god! Help me! Help me! Help me! Nearby, a woodcutter was in forest and he heard the scream. He ran to the house and just to see the wolf attacking the little girl. He hit the wolf overhead and this made the wolf open his mouth and shout. The grannies jump out and the wolf ran away and little red riding hood never saw the wolf again. So, the little red riding hood was able to save herself and her old grandmother too. Yay! The end. Okay guys, that's all the story of the little red riding hood. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye, see you. Drop it.